Here in southwestern Montana is one mysterious wall. It's called the Sage Wall, and a conversation surrounding its origins has recently exploded with many, myself included, thinking it deserves a closer look. It's called the Sage Wall, with so many similarities to other ancient megalithic structures I've seen throughout the world, this site is definitely worthy of intense research, documentation, and scrutiny to determine its origins. Is it simply a natural rock formation? Or are there too many coincidences here and researchers will one day conclusively determine that the Sage Wall constitutes ancient evidence of advanced human civilization? We probably won't know definitively for years or perhaps even decades. That's because the Sage Wall is relatively unknown. In fact, it wasn't even contemporarily discovered until 1991 when the property owners were hiking around their land and stumbled upon it. Since then, they've built out a two mile trail system and opened up tours so now you can hike alongside the sage wall determine for yourself whether you think it's man-made or naturally occurring and become one of the first people to visit what could be a crucial ancient site in this video i will supply you with all the information you need for your own trip to the sage wall starting with how to get there. The site is located about an hour's drive west of Bozeman, Montana, near the town of Butte. Keep in mind that there is limited cell service in the area, so be sure to have directions handy before you set out. Depending on the time of year, it's not a bad idea to have an off-road worthy vehicle for your trip as once you pull off the highway, the road is unpaved all the way to Sage Mountain. Now, the first thing you must understand about this site is that it is a private business and the home of the wonderful hosts, Chris and Linda. So you must be respectful, follow all of their rules and book your space ahead of time. Reservations are required to tour. You cannot just show up and book one on site. Instead, you can do so by emailing smc at sagemountain.org or by giving them a call. All of their information you can find in the description for this video or by visiting their website. A two hour reservation slot will cost you $40 per person and adding a guide will set you back an additional $75. The two mile trail system features well marked paths as you climb 300 feet of elevation past Bathyllus, 400 year old Douglas firs, and of course, the sage wall itself. Walking alongside it, take your time to look for any depressions, distinguishing features, nubs on the surface of this confounding formation, or anything else that might catch your eye. Do they look intentional to you? If so, what do you think they might have been used for? Let us know in the comments. And there you have it. That's really all there is to know about Sage Mountain. The rest is up to you. Let us know in the comments section below if you plan on someday visiting the Sage Wall and what your initial thoughts are, naturally occurring or man-made. If you plan on visiting the site, make sure you also leave enough time to visit the Tizer Dolmen, the Ringing Rocks, and more amazing sites that you can find more info about on the channel. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos on the Sage Wall, including drone footage, Airbnb recommendations, and of course, our travel vlog. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing. There's going to be a lot more of Sage Mountain content coming up that you are not going to want to miss. I promise you that. Stay safe and have a great week.